highly trained canines are the latest weapon in the battle against rampant rhino and elephant poaching at Kenya's Opecheta Conservancy. From tracking to attacking, these specialized dogs are tasked with protecting the park's precious wildlife. Olfajeta Conservancy is home to some of the most endangered wildlife in the world. And in 2013, with poaching threats on the rise, the park established an anti-poaching dog unit, consisting mainly of a special breed of dog known as a Malinois. The breed is known for its hardiness in extreme conditions. It is highly intelligent, has loads of energy, and is very fast, making it the perfect fit for the job. The Elephant Ignite Expedition Team arrive at the Olpajeta Conservancy, eager to meet these unsung heroes of conservation, and of course, to see them in action. With wagging tails, the canine unit give the EIE team a warm welcome. First, they're introduced to one particular hound. And this clever canine possesses some impressive skills. My name is Steven, and here we have Sarah. Sarah is our search dog. She normally searches ammunition that is guns, explosives, and we love her because she's perfect with what she does. Just how perfect is she? Well, we're going to find out. As soon as their handlers secure the harnesses, these dogs have been trained to recognize that it's now time to work. EIE team member Yolandi gets involved with a demonstration. I am hiding a bullet from the tracking dog. I mean, what they're going to do is give us a live demonstration on the tracking skills of their dogs, and we're going to see if he or she can actually find the bullet. Sarah waits patiently for her command. She uses her amazing sense of smell, more than 10,000 times better than our own, to locate the ammunition. And once she's sniffed out the target, Sarah sits, indicating to her handler that she's found something. For her safety, she's been trained not to approach it herself. Tracking down ammunition is one thing, but what if the team is in pursuit of a poacher? That's a task for an attack dog. Today, the team meets Quake, a 100-pound hound trained to immobilize and detain a target. And now, it's time for a demo. I'm wearing my body armor to go and get attacked by quick. <laughs> Although this is my job and I love it. Wish me luck, guys. Steven hides in the long grass as Quake strains on his lead, ready to do what he does best. With a powerful bite force and a top speed of over 35 miles an hour, the decoy doesn't stand a chance against this incredible animal. These situation simulations are an important part of the dog's training, keeping their skills sharp while they aren't on patrol. Quick is an assault dog. We use him when we are, our arm team is in patrol, and that's his job, to buy the poachers. So once the handler gives commands to the poacher while he's trying to run away, and the, the poacher doesn't stop, the, the handler will release the dog under command. If he keeps on running, that's when we give a go for the dog to be released. That's what I do. I've been trained to do that, and when our dogs are that perfect, I love my job and I love doing it. It's always been an incredible thing to see how those dogs, they're fascinating. To see the excitement in these dogs, I actually get goosebumps talking about it, that they are so focused on what they're doing. The bond between them and their, their handlers, it's, it's so incredible to watch, and the, the passion to see how these guys have dedicated the, their lives towards looking after our wildlife. This team of amazing animals, dedicated handlers, and the ever-enthusiastic decoy Steve are an important part of the fight against poaching at Old Pajeta Conservancy. It's a simple solution, man and dog, but it's proving extremely successful. Stay tuned for more epic adventures from the Elephant Ignite expedition as the passionate team of all-female explorers end their 100-day journey in Nairobi, Kenya at the most successful elephant orphan rehabilitation and rescue center in the world. <laughs>